Hello chess lovers, Stormin here and in today's video I want to share with you a fierce attacking game played by Soviet chess grandmaster Viktor Kuprejcik. His opponent is Brazilian chess grandmaster Jair Messunia Neto and this game was played back in 1989 in Palma de Mallorca at GMA Baleares Open. Kuprejcik opened up with e4 to which Sunia Neto answered with Sicilian defense. Uh, Blake is now expanding on the queen side, a little bit off bit line, but very quickly we are reaching positions which are common to uh, Sicilian French to con variation of Sicilian defense. White castle king side, queen c7, queen e2, knight c6, an exchange of knights on c6 followed a4, b4, knight d5. White is playing very aggressively and black has to be careful. Black king is stuck in the center of the board. Still black needs to develop his kingside pieces. All that requires time and meanwhile already white is uh, revealing his aggressive intentions. Of course the knight is untouchable because after uh, discovered check you can lose your queen, that's why after knight d5 we have knight f6, bishop c4, bishop d6. Uh, of course black could simplify the position with knight takes d5 and then queen c8, but instead, which is of course preferable, you know, uh, tempting line to uh, equalize very quickly, but instead we have bishop d6. There came rook d1 and now the threat is knight f6 followed by bishop d5, bishop b7. For example, let's just make a random move rook c8, then knight f6 check and then bishop d5. If here, then bishop takes b7. If queen takes b7, then rook d6. Of course, you can go for bishop takes h2, at least win a pawn, but this is of course winning for white. So after rook d1 we have bishop c5 answer by Sunya Neto, which is a dubious move and better was playing bishop e5. Let's see what's the problem with bishop c5. It's white to move, what will you play? Here we go, there landed bishop h6 move, emphasizing the vulnerability of this knight on f6. Black castled queen side and now it's time to land another heavy blow. Look, this bishop takes g7 won't give you much. Of course you are still standing better, but there is a stronger continuation. And the killer move is bishop b5. This bishop sacrifice is allowing white to open up. The a file is securing the c4 square for the queen. Let's see, uh, knight f6, attacking the queen, queen f8. Now we have a fork, that's why white played bishop takes g7, and after queen takes g7, we have queen c4. Yeah, black is in a very tough situation, d6, and now what to play. This time, rook takes d6 landed. Really a nice move, if rook d6, then queen c5, then this rook is going to drop. Black made a desperate queen g5, but there came a blockading knight d5. Very, very nice. He takes d5 check, king b8, rook c6. Black resigned. Now rook c6 is also very nice. If bishop takes c6, then just queen takes c6 and there is no escape. And now the threat is queen a7 checkmate, right? What a wonderful combination by Viktor Kuprejcik. I'm sure you enjoyed it a lot. In the end, the chess puzzle for you. The task is to win with the white pieces as usual. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.